B, the cat, has a very important job. I mean, if she doesn't pet these chickens, who will? And what about these goats? They need pets too, you know. Oh, and the pig. We absolutely cannot forget about this pig. Uh, but not that. That's just a sandwich. But B isn't just petting everyone for fun. Well, not just for fun. She's actually making sure all the animals at the hospital know that they're safe and loved. It's a busy job for one cat, but B doesn't mind. Because she remembers when she was a patient here. She was brought in as a stray kitten and was really afraid of everything. But the vets were so nice to her, which made being in the hospital a lot less scary. B loved all the attention the vets gave her. And they loved having her around. So when B got better, instead of finding someone else to adopt her, they decided to adopt her themselves. That was the second greatest day of her life. We'll get to the first greatest in a bit. B realized that other animals staying at the hospital probably felt nervous too. So she made it her mission to make every new patient feel safe and comfortable. There, there. Everything's gonna get better soon. It's all good. We are gonna take care of you. You got nothing to worry about, friend. Uh, B, that is not a patient. That is a slice of pizza. And that is a taco. Okay? You're doing great. Life at the hospital was pretty perfect, except for one thing. No matter how many pets she gave or how many new friends she made, eventually the patients always went home. But that was a good thing. After all, she didn't want them to need a vet. Still, she felt a little lonely sometimes. Then one day, everything changed when Peggy arrived. Peggy was a stray kitten just like Bee, who'd injured her paw and needed time to heal. Bee could sense that there was something special about this new patient. And when Bee tried to give her a welcome pet, Peggy petted right back. Soon, Peggy started following Bee everywhere and doing everything Bee did. If Bee wanted to watch bird videos, Peggy did too. If B wanted to spin french fries, Peggy did too. Wait, is french fry spinning some kind of cat game? And if so, what are the rules? And best of all, Peggy loved taking care of the other patients, just like B. Usually they did the rounds together, but sometimes Peggy handled it all by herself. Because even a dedicated hospital cat like B can't be on duty all the time. B and Peggy became really close. They were like sisters. B was so happy, but she was sad too, because she knew eventually someone would show up to take Peggy home. Or at least that's what she thought. But the vets had fallen in love with Peggy just like B had. And since Peggy didn't already have a home, they decided to adopt her just like they did with B. The two of them were gonna be cat sisters and best friends forever. And when B realized that, you guessed it, that was the greatest day of her life. Yo, yo, kids. Help the kittens find the subscribe button.